Selena is obviously a close match. Uh, what do you think, if anything, made the, the difference in the end? Because you were right there with her, getting back on serve in the third set. Um, definitely, I think I could serve better uh, the third set. Everything was through the long rally, which um, which I think it's better for her. And she's winning almost not all of them, but um, higher percentage definitely. So, and then I was after all those rallies, I was just tired. So, um, it was just better. I don't know to have some free points. I didn't have it from the serve, so that was the key why probably she won the third, third set. But I think I was more aggressive in the second set, so that's why it worked. She made some mistakes. I, I don't think she made any in the third one, so uh, that's why it was so so tough. But I think it was really close. Even the first set was one break, and um, in the beginning I was serving pretty well, um, pretty bad there. So I did two double faults in that game. So it didn't have to happen this as well, and the match could be totally different from the beginning. But I think it was really high level match, and um, yeah, the best one in the tournament for me. How do you look back on your time here at Roland Garros? Because by your own admission, you've not always played your best tennis and yet you've done really well to get to the semi-final. So how do you reflect on that and what positives can you take forward? I mean, definitely positives that I was not playing well the whole tournament and uh, I was just still winning. And um, and the other thing is that I prove again to myself, um, if I'm playing against the better players, against the top players, I can play really high level tennis and uh, and doesn't have to be in the beginning of the tournament, you know, so that's what happened here. And I think I would beat 99% of the girls with this tennis, what I was playing today, so it's just unlucky there was Simona today there. I think she's one of the best on clay, um, maybe one of the best on this tournament. She loves this tournament. Uh, she played final here um, a few years ago, and every year I think she's playing very well here. So um, it was just tough and just happy that I was so close to win it. Win it. Obviously, I know, or we all know, I was playing for um, world number one, but not that disappointed with this match. Carolina, are you more in, encouraged, encouraged by the level that you play today, or are you more frustrated that you went out in the match where you played your best tennis of the tournament? No, I'm finally, I, I can say I felt good on the court and um, even that I lost the match, I feel good with the way how I'd play today. So um, I know I was expecting I'm not going to have almost any chances before before the match, but uh, I just somehow made it and I was playing with Simona almost all the rallies and I was um, even winning few. So um, that was the good, good point and that's for me quite positive to play. Um, this match with her on clay, you know, I don't think we met on clay and um, she's tough to beat on clay for me. So definitely if, if it would be hardcore or maybe grass would be different uh, for me, but um, didn't happen. So just happy that uh, I played well today. If you can describe it, what is it that makes her so tough on clay and makes her such an annoying opponent to have to try to beat in long rallies especially? I think she's reading the game pretty well, and that's why, and that far together with it, she's moving very well. So it's just tough to make winners uh, against her, and and then she makes makes you to do like more unforced errors. Um, so she's pushing, pushing, and putting back, and putting back till you make the the errors, you know. So and not always. I did some winners as well, but um, sometimes when it's close and you feel a little bit nervous, then there is a big chance you're going to miss. <laughs> so, um, and also she's receiving pretty well. I think she's one of the best uh, from returning the serves. So she's not staying that, that far away, but uh, just putting everything back. So then it's just tough. It just, I know it's just up to me, but it's always, um, it's not easy to, to make the winner all the time. Uh, Carolina, over here. Do you think that the you know the weeks, the two weeks that you had here in Paris, and especially the match that you played today against Simona, being playing really well on a surface that you're not comfortable on, uh, that it's a bit of a, a warning shot, a little bit to to the rest of the field. Like this is how well and you're playing these days, and and this is how confident you are that you can pull off these results even on a, a surface that maybe doesn't reward you for your weapons. Yeah, definitely. I was just waiting for this result for a longer time. Didn't come. So, and everyone was just saying that I cannot really play good on clay. So, uh, but even David and and me were talking that this is not really like clay. You know, it's not that slow. So, even the girls like me, I think they have a chance to play good tennis here. And um, but it's just tough against some somebody like Simona. Is, you know, so I think I still have a chance in future. Um, maybe if I'm gonna meet her. 
I know on hard court I, I have a big chance to beat her again, but uh, on clay, it's not like I don't have a chance, but it's just tough, you know, so it can go like this. I play well, but I still lose, so... But I felt in future and um, in my clay future, <laughs> it's uh, it's definitely a positive thing. In terms of you know having number one ranking being a goal eventually, how nice is it to pick up like seven hundred something ranking points at Roland Garros, which you probably weren't thinking would be what you'd leave here with. I mean, I was almost celebrating after the first round what I won, so I take those 700 points right now. And uh, no, I just don't want to be frustrated after this match because, uh, like I said, I lost to somebody who is the best on clay right now at the time and uh, at semi final at Roland Garros. So, unfortunately, maybe I could have different draw or she could lose yesterday, which would be probably better for me, but didn't happen. <laughs> but, and that's how it is. So, I think it was a good fight for. Um, what number one? I think she has a big chance now to to win the um, the Roland Garros, and uh, definitely with this game, what she's playing, she's going to deserve it. Obviously, you like hard courts, but what do you expect from yourself on uh, grass? I'm going to play a few tournaments um, before Wimbledon. Uh, still, no idea um, about any of my preparation about grass. Just finished for me clay right now, so I'm going to take a few days off and. And um, yeah, right now I think I, I have a chance everywhere on any surface. <laughs> Looking at Wimbledon, can you just talk to us about how you think that surface suits your game and which weapons you'll be able to bring out on the grass? Well, the weapon still stays the same, so I, I, I'm not going to change much. Maybe a little bit the serve uh, from the kick for the second serve. I'm going to maybe play a little bit more slice, but uh, that's mostly it. I didn't change much on clay, so the shot's going to stay and uh, maybe a little bit different tactics, but otherwise it's staying. So obviously the movement's going to be different, but that's it. So you're going to take a couple of days off now after the French Open, but would you mind giving us an, like a little outlook? What do you make of the final between Ostapenko? You know Ostapenko pretty well from your match in Australia. You know Simona pretty well. What do you make of that match, and can you give us a little preview? Um, no doubt that Ostapenko, she's, she's having a good run here, and um, she's a dangerous player for everybody, I think, but uh, I would bet everything what I have on Simona, so... <laughs> Yeah, let's just see. But uh, I think on clay, maybe hardcore grass would be different. But I think on clay, with the way how she's moving and how many balls she's putting back, I think she has a very big chance. So still doesn't have to happen. But um, I think she has it in her hands. So I don't know what would happen. I don't know. I mean, Ostapenko still can play good tennis. I saw a little bit of today. And she was playing quite OK. But I think Simona, she's just um, not Timea. And uh, I think she can also not only be um, running and putting balls back, but I think she can also be sometimes aggressive. So, And that's what it's, it's important against her. So, But it's open, as always. <laughs> yeah, to get back to, to you on clay, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, s since you've played so well here, do you think that next year you will be looking forward to Roland Garros, actually? <laughs> I was every year I was looking forward to Roland Garros. <laughs> no, but uh, definitely it's going to be better for me to come back uh, with knowing that I won a few matches here and that I went that far in the tournament and, and was able to play some good tennis in the end of the tournament. So um, definitely it's going to be better for me to come back and doesn't still have to be that I'm going to um, play good tennis again, but uh, at least I know I did it once. So. 